We have 40% of babies in our country are born to unwed parents, to non-married parents. We have 400,000 children in the United States foster care system. And we also have 2.5 million children on a yearly basis that are homeless. Our families are in crisis. There's no doubt about it. There's a war in our families. And I believe our children are being indoctrinated and they're being insensitized to the left's political ideology and their political agenda. It's a known fact that educators tend to be left-leaning. And with the educators are the ones that are teaching the curriculum, they're the ones that are making the curriculum. I believe there's no doubt that the curriculum is left-leaning and they are using that to indoctrinate our children. Beginning in kindergarten, the kindergarten kids at five years old are being taught that there's 15 plus genders. We have our high school kids where they're being taught take a knee to the national anthem or they don't have to stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. We have our progressive college campuses. What's happening on our campuses? We have crying rooms and safe zones and now they've had to make areas for free speech. After education, there's this new I guess it's not new, it's been around for quite a while, but it's just taking up steam right now. And that's the uh, raising genderless children. So we hear this coming out of Hollywood, and they're deciding that we have they babies, they're not going to name them boys or girls, and they are going to raise their children with no gender and then let the kids decide when the kids get older. First of all, I want to be clear that gender is not a decision, gender is a fact. You are either male or female at birth. Secondly, make no mistake, the movement of genderless parenting has nothing to do with the best interests of a child. It has everything to do with the parents using their children to push their political agenda. <laughs>